Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. Today we are going to visit Sports Card Heroes. It is a baseball card store down in the Washington DC slash Baltimore Metro area. We visited four baseball card stores down there. This is number three that we're bringing you a video. So let's take a little walk around. First up, you see some nice autographed bats on the wall, and they have lots of memorabilia there. You see everything from socks on the wall to bobbleheads. And for those of you who like football cards, they've got you covered for football cards. Those entire showcases were nothing but football, so I didn't really spend too much time looking at those. In fact, I pretty much just walked right on past them. Supplies, they've got you covered for supplies, as you know. Sometimes it's tough to find supplies for a good price. Uh, even top loaders are way overpriced on eBay nowadays, so it's always nice to visit your LCS and pick up some supplies. And then, as usual, you know that I have to slow down at the junk wax. All of these boxes were between $10 and $5 a piece, so 5 and 10 bucks. A lot of sets and junk wax boxes on the shelves. Probably the best set there, 89 Fleer on the shelf for 10 bucks. I'll show you everything that I picked up at the end of this video. We'll go through and walk through everything. They have all these little boxes here and there. Uh, lots of rookie and traded sets, which are just packed with rookie cards from the 80s. And then you see the brand new release right there, Bowman and Chrome, that had just come out when I was down there. We were there probably in the middle of September, so that's when this footage is from, in case you're wondering. On the other side of the, the aisle here, we've got a showcase, lots of Nationals and Orioles cards in there, but... You see, they also have wax packs from the early 90s for a quarter apiece, which is an awesome deal. And the entire length of the store here in the back is nothing but baseball cards. So starting off here, you see a lot of great rookies like Chris Bryant. You got Jose Altuve rookie in there, Shoyo Tani. And look at that Derek Jeter 93 SP. That is an awesome card. I'm hoping that we can do that for a throwback Thursday at some point soon. I do have a box of those. I was kind of saving it for whenever Jeter was... Uh, to be inducted into the Hall of Fame for the Hall of Fame ceremony, but that's been pushed back. I'm itching to open that, so we'll see. Another cool feature of Sports Card Heroes is they have organ a an organized showcase by year, which is pretty cool. Inside each of those boxes are a bunch of cards. Like there you see the 55 top set. There's 56. It's singles, and they're all priced individually. And then they pull out the best cards and put them off to the side for you to look at. And uh, the worker there, very, very nice. All you got to say is, hey, you mind if I check out this 1961 Toss box? They would more than uh, more than be happy to assist you in doing that. There you see some of the cards that I'd already picked on. I was like, I got to do a video of this place. Lots of great stuff here. Down here at the end, we have basketball, a basketball showcase. We'll take a look at the walls. A Hank Aaron signed jersey up there behind the showcase. We have a bunch of boxes for a dollar and five dollars a piece. That's... There's some good bargains in there for sure, and I'll be showing you those boxes here in a moment. We have more signed jerseys across the way there, and then that's a really cool picture of the Yankees, uh, all signed there. I, I think it was 90, I can't remember, 98 World Series team signed photograph. How about that Mickey Mantle ball with a JSA letter of authenticity for 1500 A whole wall of uh, stars and Hall of Famers. You see Goose Gossage, Tom Glavin, Bobby Cox, Mike Mussina. Juan Marichal, Steve Carlton, just tons and tons of great stuff there. I didn't buy any autograph balls. I, As you guys know, I tend to stick to rookie cards and stuff like that. We'll take one last look at this showcase, and then we're going to show you down here on the floor. I actually picked this up, and this was... Uh, I already opened this up, so I know what's in there. So stay tuned for that, because there's some nice surprises in this $20 bargain bin box. And then uh, before I left, I said, hey, I didn't take a picture of these sets that are in binders. And they look like they're 20% off. A whole bunch of different sets from all different years, all ready to go. Um, pretty cool. You can see they also have sets by the box down there as well. And I told you I'd show you their $5 bin. So all of these cards were $5 a piece. They have a lot of the nice rookie cards in there. Not the greatest conditions. Obviously, if there's like a, a BGS 10 or 9 McGuire in there, it's not going to be 5 bucks. But some great names in there, Barry Bonds, Greg Maddox. And I'll just kind of uh, shuffle through these to show you what's in here. They also had a bunch of relics in there. And it wasn't just baseball. There's Dave Parker, the Cobra relic. It wasn't just baseball. There was also other sports mixed in here. 
You take a look here at some more relics. Those were $5 a piece. And off to the left, we have a dollar box. So now I'm going to show you everything that I picked up. Stay tuned for this. Some nice stuff here from Sports Card Heroes. All right, now we've got some room. Let's show you what was in that case for $20. First up, we have a factory sealed set here. I guess it's factory sealed. It has cellophane on it. There's some tape on it as well. It's from 1988 top. So back in 1988, all throughout the 80s, for the most part, the cards had 792, or the sets had 792 cards in there. So looks like this one might be a little bit sun faded. I don't know. Maybe this was uh, for sale out at a flea market or something at some point, but it's pretty cool. An entire factory sealed set. Uh, I don't know uh, what I ended up paying for that. I'm going to say maybe like it's going to work out to maybe two bucks. I have no idea. Then we have, because as you know, I paid $20 for all of this stuff. Well, we have this bag. Here's my singles that I picked up. We'll show you those here in a minute. There were some uh, two binders in the $20 bin. And everything in that bin was $20. They just didn't give me the bin itself. They gave me... Um, they gave me a box to put it in, but it looks like here we've got a Pete Rose and Bobby Mercer All-Star card, which is pretty awesome. This is from, um, I don't know, 1974? I'm not sure the year on this one. It doesn't really give me any clues on it. Yeah, 74. There we go, 1973 All-Star team. 1974 Pete Rose All-Star card. I'm going to take that one out, put that one aside. Then we have some old football cards. Actually, as a kid, I used to buy packs of whatever um, year this is. As a, I don't know why I did, um, because I, I never really liked football. But every now and then, we'd go to the store, and I'd pick up either a pack of Garbage Pail Kids or some 1986 football. I definitely, I guess I was buying 86 Garbage Pail Kids as well, because I used to have some of these cards in my collection. I didn't know anything about football, but... I picked them up anyway. You see there's a Ryan Sandberg upper deck card in there. Uh, what else can we find? Looking for anything decent. This would have been a nice uh, page back in the day. Jose Canseco gold cup card and a Ben McDonald draft pick card. That was a hot card back in 1990. Nothing on the back of the other side. We have a Kevin Mitchell. Hey, 1970. I guess I'm going to take out some of my favorite cards. A Rusty Staub 1974 tops card in pretty darn good shape right there. Put that one with the... Uh, Nice Pete Rose, 74. A Roger Clemens, 86 is in there. Bruce Benedict, rookie card. We have on this page uh, Harold Baines, Hall of Famer. Ricky Henderson up in the top left, Hall of Famer. Got some rookies on this page. Most notable, probably, uh, actually, I'd probably give uh, Terry Steinbach the uh, nod for the best overall rookie card there. Apologies to Todd Zeal, who was uh, kind of a bust. Back of the page, nothing crazy going on there. Kirby Puckett's a Hall of Famer. Hey, that's a nice one. 86 tops. Kirby Puckett. So this binder is not that bad. Got a Mike Schmidt there as well. Back of the page, nothing going on there. We got an 87 tops page there featuring two Tim Raines cards. He's a Hall of Famer. On the back, we've got a Frank Robinson, 84 tops. Hall of Famer right there. Alan Trammell, Jack Morris, Carlton Fisk. Carlton Fisk, four Hall of Famers on that page for the 87 tops. Steve Garvey. We got Carlton and Boggs right there, a couple Hall of Famers. Looks like a lot of 87 tops in this uh, in this uh, binder. Jim Rice is in there as well. As you know, I like the old stuff from the 70s and before, so I'm glad that I found a couple of nice things. So there's Mike Lavalle, rookie card, Andy Vance, like 89 tops, all-star card. Another Mike Lavalle, rookie, Ruben Sierra, rookie card up there. A couple Hall of Famers here. Actually, we're going to have three of them. Four of them, check that. Boggs, Quinn, Schmidt, and Puckett. Pretty good page right there. Clemens is on there as well. Rod Carew, 86. That card has seen better days. Kind of beat up a little bit. Looks like we're getting into some 86 cards here. we got a Harold Reynolds. That's his rookie card, actually. Jack Morris, Hall of Famer. And uh, we'll get some, some older stuff here. There we go. we got some 1980 tops. Fergie Jenkins in the top right. He is a Hall of Famer. I like that one. I'm going to put that one aside for myself. Jim Rice, Tony Perez, and Pete Rose, Hall of Famer, Hall of Famer, and all-time hit king right there. Ryan Sandberg, nice 1985 All-Star card. That's a pretty nice one. We've got some 87 Donruss, Ozzie Smith, Diamond King up there. On the back, uh, we have some 89 Donruss, nobody really notable there. Some more 87 Donruss. What else can we find that's notable? Don Sutton's a Hall of Famer. 
Getting into some of the older stuff from 86, 87, Fleer. Very nice stuff there. Nice Ruben Sierra update. Fleer update, rookie card. Like that one a lot. And Bobby Bonilla rookie card. I used to love that card as a kid. Well, it was one of my favorite cards in my collection, actually. Nice Andy Van Slyke right there. And on the back, we've got a couple buckos here, including some from 1975. That's pretty awesome. And back of the page, some more old-time buckos. From uh, 79, 75, 80, 81. So not a very... You know what? That wasn't bad whatsoever. I like that. Some pretty nice uh, surprises in there. Probably paid... I don't know. It probably works out to maybe just a couple bucks for that binder. Again, I paid $20 for everything in the box. We have another binder there. Before we get to the second binder, let's check out my singles. And then we'll do the second binder. They had a couple different bins there. They had a dollar bin. And they also had a $5 bin. Check out what I picked up, guys. And uh, we're going to be giving away a couple things in this video. We got a Randy Johnson rookie card there from 89 Tops. That was a buck. I figured, what the heck, I'll pick it up. I love rookie cards. And you know that I will always pick up the 87 Tops Barry Bonds whenever I find it. That was only a dollar. Um, I really love this card. It might be one of my favorite cards of all time. Another Randy Johnson. That was a buck. We have, How about this for, for a dollar? Like, are you kidding me? A 1970 Roberto Clemente. Yes, it has a crease there and has a, a bad corner there, but a an original Clemente 1970 Tops card for a dollar. I could not pass that one up. In this condition, this card right here is probably worth at least 10 bucks, I would imagine. A great card right there. And then we have a Dale Murphy rookie card for a buck. Really, really nice one right there. There's actually two... Um, rookie prospect cards with Dale Murphy on them. So you got to be careful. This is his actual rookie 77. There's also a 78 one out there that you might say, oh, that's a Dale Murphy rookie card because he's on there with three other rookies. But no, don't be faked out on that one. That's a great one. We got a Barry Bonds PSA, not PSA, a Beckett, a BGS 6.5. There's two of them, and they were only $5 a piece. So some cool stuff here. Barry Bonds PSA, or sorry, BGS 6.5. Had to grab those right there. Let's see what else we can pull out of this. Let's get the next binder on the screen as promised. The binder alone is probably worth uh, a little bit. And how about this for a nice little um, extra? We have a Nolan Ryan commemorative program from his 300th win. That's pretty awesome. So he's in some pretty good company there. You see all the other 300 game winners listed there. This was a $3 program back in the day. And that's a, it's a pretty awesome find in this binder. So now we get to our good old 88 Fleer. We've got Greg Jeffries' rookie card on there. Mark Gray's rookie card. I actually pulled a redemption out of World's Greatest Pack Chase. And this was the card that they were going to send me. That like, Can you even believe that? Uh, about a 10 cent card. Another Greg Jeffries. We got the all star team cards here from 88 Fleer. Kind of cool. And now we get some older cards. That's what I'm talking about. Brooks Robinson 74 all star card. There we go. Very nice. Brooks Robinson and Ron Santo. Like that one a lot. I'll put that with my uh, vintage stars that I've been picking out. We have a Oakland Athletics New York Yankees World Series commemorative card there. Jim Cott is a nice card as well. Like that one a lot. We've got Rod Carew, batting leaders card. Rod Carew and Ralph Gard. This is a 1975 Topps card. Very cool card. I'm going to set that one aside as well. I like the older stuff for sure. 70s and anything before. We've got a Bill Madlock and uh, Reggie Sanders. Bill Madlock obviously is the best one on there. Rookie card, Bill Madlock. I don't know if I've, I actually have that one. So that will set that one aside. Bill Madlock had a nice career. we got an all-star card from 74 of Rod Carew and Joe Morgan. Double Hall of Famers. And we have another good one. It is going to be Reggie Jackson along with Billy Williams. So a couple Hall of Famers there. This is a... It's pretty good. I'm, <laughs> I am uh, very pleased with my pickup. A Frank White rookie card. You guys in Kansas City remember Frank White. He had a lot of nice seasons there. Kind of got overshadowed a little bit by George Brett. But he was a, uh, a nice steady force. Ken Griffey Sr. rookie card. That's a nice one. And how about this? Willie Mace is coming up. I, uh, I'm honest, I did not go through this. I, I peeked inside. I did see a couple cards from the 70s in there. I was like, boom, I'm buying this for 20 bucks. I did not have a chance to look through these until right now. But a Willie Mays 1974 Topps card it has an ink blot in it. But that's pretty awesome right there. Anytime you get a Willie Mays card, that's at the end of his career. As you know, Willie Mays, 
uh, after spending all those years with the Giants, finished up with the Mets, and he was just a shell of his former self. But still, that is an awesome card. Here's another one. Pete Rose and Rod Carew batting leader card from 1974 tops. We've got Frank Tanana for you Frank Tanana fans out there. He had a nice career. Let's see who else. Rookie card-wise, these two are kind of duds. And then we have some 89 score cards. Boggs, Yount, Schmidt. A nice, um, nice down the middle right there. we got Ripken. A couple Paul Molders on that. So that was pretty darn good. That binder. And uh, I guess, that, I don't know, this, I feel like that Nolan Ryan program, I could probably sell that on eBay if I wanted to. I don't sell on eBay anymore, but if I did, I bet you that would fetch, I don't know, 10 bucks maybe? Let's see what else we have in here. I'm going to start pulling this stuff out. This is this is kind of the odds and ends. We have baseball stickers from 1982. Wow, is this complete? It is a completed baseball sticker. That's pretty awesome. So, um, Every now and then when I would see these at flea markets, they'd be like a dollar or 50 cents or whatever. And they'd have some stickers in there, but nobody actually took the time to finish it. And this is complete. Every single sticker is in there. I don't know what that goes for, but that's pretty cool to have the entire scrapbook completed for us. I, I, I'm hoping all of them are. Let's check this next one out. Um, that was 82. This might be, there's George Brett on the front. 1980. So this is 81. And we have um, the original owner there from Ashtab Eula. I'll keep his uh, full name and the rest of his address kind of um, hidden there. But that's pretty awesome. He has his name on the inside. And this one, I'm sure he doesn't live there anymore. That was 40 years ago. Another completed sticker book. I'm going to have to look into seeing what if, if there's any value in these at all. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Topps used to do the sticker books throughout the 80s. I, I can't remember the, when they stopped doing it. I think it might have been, it was 89 the last year they did the sticker book, 89 or 90. Here's a Reggie Jackson, 1983. So we've got 81, 82, and 83, and they are all completed. That's pretty awesome. Oh, look at that. Rick, there was a Ricky Henderson puzzle that you had to put together with the stickers, and even over here had to put all that together. Somebody did that for us. Really cool stuff. Um, really, really, they did a nice job sticking these stickers on there too. It almost looks like a, you know, the picture. So a great job by whoever owned this book 40 years ago. His name's not on the inside of this one. We got the home run Kings all filled out right there. That was the order back in 83. Hank Aaron was number one. Babe Ruth, number two. Willie Mays, number three. Robinson, four. Of course, they have got eclipsed by guys like Bonds. Bonds taking over the top spot, and other guys moving in there like A Rod with his 696. Really cool. Look at how I, I would have loved this as a kid, just to be able to like look at the home run list, the leaderboard right there. Top 20 career home run leaders. 399 for Al Kaline was number 20 back then. Of course, now Kaline's probably like 40 something. Let's see what else we have in here. We got a whole bunch of stuff. This was all 20 bucks. We have a pack of something. We've got random loose cards in here. We've got um, these giant top loaders. Um, we've got a random hockey pack. Another random hockey pack. We've got a Flare Ultra sealed uh, update set. That's pretty cool. There's a, a Jeff Bagwell rookie card in here along with Yvonne Rodriguez. So that's very nice. I might actually be, I don't know. I think I already have found my favorite things from that $20 bin. And it's I'm pretty happy about those sticker books. We've got a bunch of top loaders in here. I'm not going to pull those out anymore. Um, it's like, I don't know if those are for tickets or what. We've got a ball cube, an empty ball cube, and another empty ball cube. And uh, let's see what else we've got here. Some more packs, just loose packs of hockey from 9091. And uh, you can see in there just a giant screw down case take a look at this stuff briefly. I won't spend too much time on this. Just some Kevin Johnson rookie card in here from Tom's Finest from who knows when. The rest of that stuff in there is just miscellaneous supplies. So we've got a football pack from 1990. We've got a Tom's Big Pack from 88. That's pretty cool. Another Tom's Big Pack from 88. We've got a Bernie Williams quote-unquote rookie card. I, I highly doubt that. <laughs> it's a 2001 card, so... Uh, in the wrong case, we've got a couple random football cards, which I don't really care about, so I'll put those aside. Fleer Ultra, random pack. We've got Harley-Davidson packs, for those of you that like uh, motorcycles, I guess. 
Vinny Testaverde random football card. We got a Woolworth. This is a, it was a $1.99, a limited edition collector's series. All-time record holders. That's pretty cool. Um, some old-time players. And this is from 1985. So usually, I don't know, this one, uh, I'll have to look into that. Might, that might be a $5 item on eBay. I, I do not know. Offhand, we've got, these are football cards. Then I could, uh, I don't know, I don't want to say care less about them, but. Oh, there are some baseball cards mixed in. So random cards. There's a Shane Reynolds. I guess we'll flip these around. Tim Salmon's in there. I'm not expecting anything crazy in here. Mostly just some commons. Steve McNair, Kenny Lofton. Troy Aikman. Looks like some kid drew that card. Kind of as expected. Nothing crazy in there. Rest of the cards. We've got a some Cecil Collins, Eric Chavez. Some more football cards there for you. Some packs, a pro set, some football packs. I'll put those in the pack pile. I almost feel like opening this hockey pack. I think I will actually open one of those. Hockey pack, Fleer Ultra, just to see. Kind of has, uh, I don't know, has an old, old type feel. It almost looks to me like a Garbage Pail Kid pack. Uh, it's 90-91 OPG. Let's go ahead and open it. Why not, right? Just take the cards, put them aside. Maybe we'll pull a Mario Lemieux, since that's about the only hockey player that I know. Him and Wayne Gretzky. Gum is, it, it just, I don't know, glued on to this card. Central Red Army, Kirk Muller, Cam Neely. I'm actually going to throw this card away, because the gum is just destroying it. Uh, what else we have? Kind of nice looking cards here. Mike Mad Madano, Madano, I don't know. As you know, I'm baseball only, but I figured, what the heck, might as well open those up. What else do we have? We have a 1986 limited edition set featuring some of the stars from that era. You can see Doc Gooden was a major, major star back then. George Brett's on there. Wade Boggs, Harold Baines, Ricky Henderson, Reggie Jackson, Don Mangley, Mulder, Murray, Murphy, Ripken, Rose, Schmidt, Sandberg. Cool stuff. What else do we have? Some more just random loose cards. So I guess um, they since they kept the tote, I'm guessing they just fill it up. Um, from time to time, just take like loose odds and ends from around the store and just toss it in there. A whole bunch of um, large top loaders. Those will actually come in handy. Like this is perfect for those wide vision cards and stadium club blasters. Those will definitely come in handy. And by the way, those wide vision cards, I looked those up on eBay. There's, some of them are going for like 30 bucks. Like I feel like Fernando Tatis Jr. is a $30 card for the wide vision. So if you have those, you might want to hang on. And these ball cubes can probably... I'm just going to give these away to somebody. What else can we find? Here's this pack. This little, oh, I don't know. Ziploc bag of probably nothing good, but we'll see. It's it's a bargain bin. Um, Alvy Shepard. I'm going to go through these quick because I don't really care too much about the football cards. Deion Sanders. That's a name that I know. Eric Chavez again. Rod Beck. It's like a big grab box here. All kinds of odds and ends in there. Eddie Murray, Hall of Famer right there. Launchers, Mark McGuire. That's kind of a cool card. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Put that one aside. What happened to this card? Looks like uh, <laughs> Skybox. It's a metal card, and it looks like it got bent somehow, some way. You got some good old 97 recycled paper Fleer cards. That's a nice Pedro. And uh, that's pretty much it. We have these packs here as well. And these uh, just random uh, top-loaded cards, which nothing crazy in here. They're just some Fleer Focus cards and some random football cards. Probably not worth too much money on the football. I know that the baseball cards aren't worth much at all, but some cool stuff. These will these will do. Look at these. Use these for. I don't think the sixty-four. Well, maybe. I, I think I feel like the sixty-four. Um, Oversized cards from archives might be a little too big for this, but I'll have to try that out. A whole bunch of those is oversized top loaders, so some cool stuff. Pretty stoked about all that, and I think I told you before I'd end the video that I would show you the 5,000 count box. We'll save that for last. Let me go ahead and clear some space and bring that up here and see if there's anything. Good. We'll just, I'm not going to go through all of these because they're going, they're going to be commons, but um, I don't know what to do with these. Uh, let's see, what do we have? We'll just do a little sampling here. We have some basketball cards. 
And um, looks like they are in sequential order, so I highly doubt that there's going to be any like Michael Jordans in here or anything like this. This is from 2000 and uh, or 1992, 93. We've got some football cards in there, as you see there. Hey, Warren Moon. So that's there's some good cards in here, I guess. Hall of Fame, a whole bunch of Warren Moons actually. Probably left all the good Hall of Famers in there. Um, those are all football. This next column here, this first row, it's going to be more basketball. Hey, maybe there will be Michael Jordans and stuff in here. I guess I can sit down. Mark Jackson. I have to go through all these, I guess, just for the heck of it. Uh, let's see what we have. Just a bunch of basketball there. Basketball, I'll give you the play-by-play -play basketball. And then a whole bunch more football there. From that, this middle row... We have ourselves some more football. This is Upper Deck from 1992, and they're all in order. So this is from a set builder. I'm guessing that um, these were just all the leftover ones after they put together the sets. We got football, 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 football. The whole row is nothing but football for you football fans out there. And now the last column. Let's check it out. We've got some more football cards and... Um, so unfortunately, it's all football. Michael Brooks, and uh, that's all it is. A bunch of football cards. If anybody wants to make me an offer for this entire box, <laughs> I'd be happy to ship this your way. Of course, the, uh, the the bad part is the shipping would probably cost a lot. I'd probably have to take these and take the cards and toss them into some boxes. And I could probably get it done for, uh, I don't know, for that large flat rate box, which is about $20 to ship those. If anybody wants all this, because I don't collect basketball or uh, football, let me know. I'd be happy to uh, move these. I'll just keep the box, I guess, for myself, the empty box. So that's it, everybody. So a very nice uh, haul there. I was pretty happy for 20 bucks. I was expecting complete trash. And uh, some of you might think it's complete trash because you dislike commons like this or just all the odds and ends. But I was pretty happy. I was happy with the uh, the binders were kind of like the highlight of those, of all the uh, random things in there. And also, I was pretty uh, stoked about those sticker books. So I hope you guys will check out Sports Card Heroes if you get a chance to, if you're ever down in the Washington, D.C. or... Uh, Maryland area down there near Baltimore as well. Check them out. Great stuff, great prices, and a lot of little hidden gems around that shop. Very nice store. So that's it. That's all we have for you today. Tomorrow we have Mystery Box Monday. Make sure you tune in for that. And then uh, Tuesday, I, I don't know. I might just do a random, either a random pack opening video or another baseball card store because we did four stores down in Maryland. This is the third of the four that we hit up. And then Wednesday, if my cases arrive on time, we'll be doing a case break of the brand new 2020 Tops Triple Threads. It's a very nice set. I cannot wait to open that up. All right, everybody, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys had a very nice weekend, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.